I'm here with Rainer, who is the founder of Let's Do It, and he orchestrated uh, and began the journey of World Cleanup Day. Can you tell us how you founded it and why, why did this journey begin? Why did you create Let's Do It? It became so because I just hated waste. You know, I couldn't stand it in my forest. I'm a loner guy. I'm, 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 I'm mostly in the forest, I'm mostly alone. And, and once I started to see more and more often the waste there, I, I just thought that, you know, it's got to do something about it. So in a desperate event, uh, I would try to organize a cleanup once, you know, I, I failed. And the other one, I also failed. And, and then it struck me that if we manage to get the entire country together and really push it and make sure everybody, you know, understands why this is so, maybe we succeed and and this is you know out of fantastic team we had you know out of all the luck we had at the time we just succeeded this is, was this was the beginning and tell me when did it begin but when, when when was the start of that yeah it was 2008 and how many people were involved then it was 50,000 people come to clean the country at that day wow and so it's we're 10 years on and how many people now around the world are cleaning you wouldn't believe, but now we got 17 million and counting people cleaning up the countries. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. I've got two last things to ask you. One of them is, if you could just tell me, you know, what's the importance? I mean, why pick up litter? Well, the two things is first, you're gonna feel better. If you do that, you're gonna, it's gonna look nicer. Plus, we might save the ecology of this because what happens with the litter is eventually through the multiple transactions we we eat it through the animals and stuff so and it also brings disease there are a few other you know arguments why but uh, it's personal i mean what what we've seen is really in the cleanup day everybody is picking it for their own reasons and, um, and, and your reasons are inside of you and, and you're cleaning your own world and, and this is what, what it's about. Yeah. Lastly, um, what is, it, is, is there a sort of, you know, I've, I've been asking quite a few people over the years about kind of a golden rule that they have or a wisdom that they have or something. Is there a saying or is there a, is there a line that they heard? Or a, what is it that keeps you going? What keeps you motivated? What's the sort of... Sort of a wisdom for you that really keeps you inspired to keep going. Well, I don't have a phrase or I, I don't have like a sentence, but um, when I'm really down and I need to pick up my pieces on the floor, I just go running. Um, you know, I, I've been lying in a forest in the snow, just staring at the clouds and thinking, it's still beautiful. You know, it, it's a fantastic planet we got. This, this is so beautiful. And, you know, with all this thing happening in, in the Milky Way and, and we're revolving around the medium sun here, where are my big problems comparing to these? They're nothing. Um, and it, it, normally it, it kind of gives me a perspective that, you know, those things might be bad, but, but this is not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, listen, it's, it's really interesting. I mean, because I also, what I, you know, I have been talking such, for such a long time, as, as, as of course you have too, about the link between sustainability and peace. So, you know, you can't have sustainability without peace and you can't have peace without sustainability. They are inextricably linked. Al Gore won the Nobel Peace Prize for a film about the environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah? Exactly. Right? So that's, that's incredible. I suddenly feel like there's a, an opportunity, you know, with, the, with our dates being so close, to make the link really well, you know, and I'm going to look forward to coming out here on the 15th and doing some stuff with you and picking up some litter on the beach or whatever we do, you know, because I think it's really important that people understand that actually you can have a massive impact on peace in our world by cleaning up the environment around you and protecting the resources around you. You know, as well as you protecting your families and your loved ones and reaching out to those you haven't spoken to for a long time. That you, mm -hmm. you know, just say sorry because those tiny differences change not only our families but our communities and those around us in such a profound way. And that's exactly the same as picking up a piece of litter, saying sorry, 
and picking up a piece of litter, they're the same thing. And that's so profound and beautiful. It is, you're right. You know, what if? What if it's gonna happen? What if we're gonna clean it? And what if this is the last war what's being fought right now? Just what if it's gonna happen? What a future humanity will get, huh? Yeah, man. It's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Go we, can do, we can do a lot of things. Yeah, we can, we can. We, we will. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're welcome. <laughs>